so uh, this is a demonstration board like in this video I'm gonna show you how to connect this body module with the flight controller and the two receivers two re receivers means you can control using two transmitters without having any wire connection between both the transmitters so this is very simple uh, wiring first uh, on the left side we have uh, instructor receiver instructor or master receiver where the S bus communication wire this is S bus communication wire we have a ground and uh, signal wire some wires comes with the positive wire as well means 5 volts wire as well uh, no worries if you don't have that wire no, no issue but uh, yeah this is a signal wire as per signal wire that we need to connect to the M on the body module we have something called M starting here and the top lines are signal wires and signal and the low bottom line is ground here black means ground and yellow means signal of the master receiver so I took this wire from the master receiver and connecting here at the master side uh, plug it properly it should not be loose it should be tight so okay this is how we need to connect uh, the master signal wire to the body module and coming to the slave or the student uh, receiver here we got one more uh, signal wire from uh, uh, slave or the student uh, receiver this will be connected at slave port of the body module okay okay so now you have connected both master and slave ka signal wires with the body module now this uh, this body module comes with uh, uh, two more cables this is a signal cable and uh, it comes with one more uh, black and white cable which is uh, auxiliary cable so we have connected master and uh, slave ka uh, as per wire to the body module now we need to connect these two cables so i'll start with this top side the white wire is the signal wire and black is the ground wire so i'll be connecting like this at the f on the f port So I plugged in and make sure it is tight enough. Okay, plugged it and then I'm connecting this wire with the flight controller RC input port. If you observe, Pixoc have RC input port where we need to connect the Asbus wire from the body module now we have to connect the last and final wire which is a control wire which I am connecting here at the body module okay and this wire this wire is going to channel 9 of the master receiver the white wire should be on the must be on the channel 9 of the receiver here if you observe if you observe on the receiver channel 9 is mentioned here so I am connecting to channel 9 you can connect it on channel 9 or 10 as per your port availability so I have connected it on channel 10 ok you can either connect it on uh, channel 9 or 10 it's, it's your option whichever switch is convenient for you you can connect with this with that particular pin so this is very simple wiring this is how we need to connect the body module uh, with both the receivers and the flight controller no soldering is required this is very simple process if you follow this video you can uh, you will be able to do it by yourself and uh, last but not least the telemetry 
wires of the receiver will be connected at the telemetry ports on the flight controller. We have uh, two telemetry wires, one each from uh, each receiver, which I have connected in the telemetry ports. This is how we need to connect both the receivers and the flight controller to the body system. All set. Uh, we need to test it now how it works. Uh, let's check it out. So after connecting all the wires as per the wiring diagram, now I connected uh, the Pixhawk flight controller with the uh, PC or the laptop where I have already installed the mission planner and uh, opened this RC radio calibration uh, tab. Here you can observe the green line, green. So if the RC is not connected, uh, there will be no green. So both the receivers are turned on. You can see like uh, the green light on top of uh, each receiver. Both the receivers are uh, powered on and connected properly with the flight controller. And uh, this control wire is connected to the channel uh, 10 where A, uh, ma on the master transmitter button A means uh, the control uh, channel where I can give control, shift the control between master and uh, slave transmitters. So you can observe on the right side we have uh, slave or the student uh, transmitter. On the left side we have master transmitter. Okay. Now I'll give control from the master transmitter and you can observe the response. See in the screen you can observe the response. These channels of uh, these signals are passing through the body module still there is no uh, you know latency. The response is very good. You can check all the channels. All the channels are working properly. So no issue with the channels. Now let's check if the slave or the student transmitter is getting any signal or not when the button is turned off. I haven't given any signal to the uh, slave or the student transmitter which is over there on the right side. So can I give control? See, I haven't given him any access to the drone, so he's unable to control the drone. So to give access to slave transmitter, I have to click on this button. You can also, the light is turned on on the A button. It means the control has been given to a slave transmitter. Now, slave, now the slave is able to control the drone. See, give the throttle, throttle and uh, pitch, pitch signals. See, and he's giving inputs. The response can be observed on the GCS. Let's say if I turned off this button A, you can observe signals are not transmitted to the flight controller. Hence, slave cannot control the drone again I, if i give the signals to slave now he is able to control the drone in this manner we can switch the control between master and slave when this a button is turned off control will be with the master transmitter only means the instructor where i can seamlessly control my drone without any issue there is no latency that's a good thing about this module this module also, not only supports to skydrive but also supports uh, ze ze brand flysky radio master and all other models we have tested on uh, uh, so many models uh, so very soon we are going to release those videos as well stay tuned